Ventura County is taking proactive measures to address the potential impacts of sea level rise along its coast. This coast encompasses diverse land, such as public places, take bar facilities, infrastructure, residential communities, agriculture fields, the naval base, and many surf spots, um, for example, Rincon Point. Sea level rise is a significant threat to coastal resources and it has the potential to impact residents, businesses, and visitors. In order to address these challenges, the county has initiated the BC Resilient Coastal Adaptation Project. This project is designed to leverage the best available scientific knowledge to understand critical vulnerabilities associated with sea level rise. And this project will also develop a comprehensive and forward-thinking strategy to mitigate its impacts. The primary goal of this project is to prepare for future where the impacts of sea level rise are more severe. Uh, by gaining deep understanding of coastal hazards and vulnerabilities, the county also aims to implement adaptive measures that protect the coastal zones and also minimize the adverse effects on the community. Um, it's important to mention how uh, this grants uh, by the California Coastal Commission and the California Coastal Conservancy have made uh, this project possible. This financial support uh, reflects a collective commitment to address the challenges by sea level rise and underscores the importance of projects uh, like this one to prepare for the future. So there are many issues that this project is trying to address. One of them uh, being the agricultural fields on the south coast are particularly at risk as they will be exposed to more tidal, tidal floating compared to the central coast. This makes them extremely vulnerable for the potential effects of increased salinity levels on crop production. Um, currently in this area, they're cultivating blueberries, row crops, and sod. Um, they might need to explore um, different alternatives um, in order to continue with their productivity. The region's waste management infrastructure, specifically the green waste processing facility near Ormond Beach is also under threat. More frequent floated could force the local waste collection agency to transport waste over long distances, uh, presenting logistical and environmental challenges. It becomes crucial to devise resilient waste management strategies and potentially identify alternative disposal sites to maintain efficiency and minimize environmental impacts. The Pacific Coast Highway also ser serves um, many residential areas, accommodating water supply lines, power lines, and offering a route for emergency services and evacuation. So this sea level rise uh, puts the PCH to risk and um, careful planning is needed um, to be able to address all of these issues, um, like reinforcing the already existing seawalls, increasing drainage capacity, and even contemplating long-term solutions like elevation or relocation of the highway. As we've seen, in class, residential structures along the coastline face increased exposure to coastal storms and rising tides. Some homes are elevated on pilings or protected behind armor. 
and homeowners are taking critical decisions on how to adapt to the future. Uh, whether through reinforcing foundations, increasing armor heights, facilitating sediment supply to protect beaches. Point Magoo State Park um, has many important campsites and all of these beaches along the PCH are um, very essential for recreation. Um, these areas in the future will expect it to be more frequently closed due to sea level rise and then long term considerations may involve relocating these areas. Um, but uh, short term, -term strategies um, such as sediment plants, improved drainage and elevating key infrastructure could provide a temporary temporary um, and crucial buffer against the impacts of coastal hazards. To conclude my video, um, our code's coast um, requires a comprehensive and forward-thinking approach um, in order to navigate the challenges that are posed by cl climate change. Collaboration efforts involving local communities, government agencies, and environmental organizations are essential to develop and implement strategies to ensure uh, the functionality and resilience of the region services into the future.